All right, starting out, we want to put the reel in a central location on the job site. It doesn't matter where you set it, but it doesn't need to move once you start your survey. It operates a little bit better if it's sitting on its side rather than upright. It's a little more stable, a little more accurate that way. We pull out, like I say, enough tubing to walk to the farthest point. I like to come back. We want to connect our display onto the monopod. And then to keep, as we're walking, to keep the tubing from trying to pull the display off the monopod, we've got a little Velcro here. We want to put the tubing through the Velcro. That way, as we walk, it'll take the stress off. I also like to have this little magnet clip on my phone so that it turns everything into a one-hand operation. It makes it super simple and easy to, to operate. Yes. I got plenty of tubing pulled out, figure out where I'm going to go with everything. Okay. I keep this. All right, we're going into 3D mapping. <clears throat> I'm going to plot my first point here. Got to look at the ground and make sure it knows where it is. Mm -hmm. There's my first reading. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to walk this around. I may have you kind of help me keep the cord yeah, yeah. from getting too, too tangled up there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come down to the edge of the house here, and this is going to be just outside the edge just mm -hmm. a little bit. And that's showing about a three-inch elevation. Then we'll take it straight down this way. You're kind of untangled me there just a little bit, please, sir. And I came right down to the edge of the house. We're outside of the house about, about four feet or so here. I'm going to plot another point there. I'm going to come over to where this starts back up. That way our level knows where the, where the, where the grade starts. Okay. That's going to level out about 19 inches. We'll plot that. Now I'm going to come up to the top here. Just off to the back side. This is a pretty good. Yeah, yep. That's exactly. Uh, pretty much where we need to be. Yeah. That's about a 38 inch height above where we were. Then I'm going to walk down, right down the edge of the pool here. Okay, and that is the outline of our pool area. Mm -hmm. And to email, you send it just like you would anything else from your phone. This is an iPhone, of course. Easy peasy. Now I've opened my UVision 3D Landscape Creator. We're going to Tools, Terrain, Elevation Import Wizard. I'm uploading the, I saved this file from my emails, the coordinates file as just under Jeremy. Simply open this. You should be able to click through the defaults. You can double check and make sure your defaults are the same as mine here. And that quick and easy, you have got a topo map. We'll line this up like we had it. Now we're going to bring in 
or overlay a drone image. We'll go back into tools, picture import wizard. We want the overlay. That's the image we want. Just click through the defaults. Let's make this larger. And we're going to have to rotate it. And then line everything up. But you can see how easy peasy this is going to be. And now we have our finished topo map with a lot of detail in. We can zoom in on this. Look at the look at the detail you can see in this. Takes all the guesswork out of it. <laughs>